Hello everybody. This module is dealt with in two videos. In the first video, we will be studying about the concept and meaning of play. And in the next one, we will learn about the benefits of play. Okay. All of us have experienced play and we all know how enjoyable it is. Those are the memories which each one of us cherish when we go back to our childhood. Isn't it? Have you ever thought about the concept of play? Play is an important and integral part of the life of any child. Play is a non-serious and self-contained activity engaged for the sheer satisfaction it brings to children. It helps children achieve mastery in certain skills and they learn to have control over their environment. The environment and play are important elements that support each other. Play has a significant role which helps in the holistic development of the child. For children, play is considered to be fun which is enjoyable for its own sake and its own reward. During play, children follow their own ideas and interests. Any activity which is done during the leisure time without any pressure from an outsider can be considered as play time. Play in early childhood is a vital experience through which Children learn social, conceptual and creative skills as well as increase their knowledge and understanding of the world around them. Play is highly motivating and complex. Although play is not the only way in which children learn, it is an essential part of their early development and learning. Let us now see what are the learning outcomes of this chapter. After learning this module, you will be able to understand the concept and meaning of play and know about the characteristics of children's play. Now let's have a look at the meaning of play. Play serves as a path for the child to develop their thinking and learning abilities which lead to their holistic well-being. Every child has the right to play. Through play, children choose to follow their own ideas and interests in their own way for their own reasons. Play helps a child strengthen their bodies, expand their minds and thereby influences many dimensions of development. A child learns a lot through play and to achieve this, children need appropriate time period to get involved in play. Play is considered as the most or even the only developmental appropriate way for young children to learn. Schiller referred to play as an aimless expenditure of exuberant energy while Froebel referred to it as the natural unfolding of the germinal seeds of childhood and Gruss defined it as an instinctive practice without serious intent of activities that will be essential later in life. Play in the real sense is difficult to define. The broad category of activities that are covered by the term play include a great variety of behaviors such as swinging, sliding, running, digging in the dirt, building with blocks, dancing to music, making up nonsense rhyming words, dressing up and pretending. Play is often interpreted as the opposite of work, something that is done on the weekends, during vacations or with children. According to Freud and Erickson, play helps the child master anxieties and conflicts. Because tensions are relieved through play, children can cope more effectively with life's problems. Therapists use play therapy both to allow the child to work off frustration and to analyze the child's conflicts and ways of coping with them. Piaget defined play as assimilation or in other words, the child's efforts to make environmental stimuli match his or her own concepts. They claim that play was just for pleasure, which reminds them from the previously learned practices or activities, though it's not necessarily been a result in learning new tasks. Play also is an important context for cognitive development. Play is the work of a child and thus it is an excellent setting for cognitive development. Gawe defined play as an activity which is positively valued by the player, self-motivated, freely chosen, engaging and which has certain systematic relations to what is not play. These characteristics are important for teachers to remember because 
Imposing adult values, requirements or motivations on children's activities may change the very nature of play. How can you define play? According to Webster's Death Dictionary of the English Language, the word play has 34 different meanings. In terms of young children and play, the following definitions from Webster's are useful. Light, brisk or changing movement. To act or imitate the part of a person. To employ a piece of equipment. Exercise or activity for amusement or recreation. Fun or jest as opposed to seriousness. The action of a game. As per the United Nations High Commission for Human Rights, it's the birthright of every child to play and this right is sometimes violated by engaging the child's time in child labor or other means in which the child's time is exploited. However, not a lot of children are fortunate enough towards play. In the present society, children are pressurized to persuade knowledge or a skill which as per parents thought are more beneficial in securing their children's future. Because of this, the child loses the opportunity to develop the unique potential and factors that in turn will be helpful in the holistic development associated with play. Children are born to play. They learn about the world and themselves through the freedom to play. The characteristics of children's play are as follows. It is self-chosen and self-directed, exploration without care of what the end result will be, imaginative and active, is individually constructed, communicative, adventurous and risky, involved, enjoyable, sociable and interactive, meaningful, therapeutic, symbolic and voluntary. So to conclude, let me remind you that children are born with the drive and capacity to learn through play, especially through some natural drives like curiosity, playfulness and sociability. As parents and teachers, the child's ability to play can be enhanced and supported through participation of elders in their play, encouraging mistakes, building a playful space and trusting them. See you in my next video on play.